Hi Capricorn, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Capricorn, this bonus reading, my intentions with this is if some things in your monthlies did not resonate for you, maybe something here will. So we'll be taking a look at love, life, and then advice and guidance for you. And then we'll clarify all the energy with tarot. I'll be getting your advice and the guidance from the Guardian Angel Oracle here. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. Um, this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that information is below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there, so please go check that out if you would like to. So let's see what we have for Capricorn. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, uh, safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what we have for Capricorn. I'll be pulling uh, a couple oracles from each deck, and then we'll get into the tarot. And if you're new to my channel, you can check out my channel. Like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Um, you get about four or five readings a month. And if you do, welcome and thank you. Welcome to the family. All right, Capricorn Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. This could be past, present, future energy, sometimes that happens. Uh, please only take the messages that resonate for you. If some things don't resonate here for you, then not your messages. Please don't try to make them fit. All right, Capricorn, collective, male or female, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's going on in love for Capricorn, please, spirit? Thank you so much for Capricorn. And I always take from the bottom. So always an important message at the bottom. Let's get two of these. This is the life portion. So we're going to take whatever comes out here. Love, life, and advice for your bonus reading for Capricorn. And I have a new camera, so hopefully uh, sound quality is better. Uh, maybe a little awkward holding up the uh, card, so just bear with me till I get used to the angle and the uh, zoom and all that jazz. So let's see Capricorn. Capricorn message for Capricorn. All right, I'll take that one. Take one from the bottom. All right, let's get your advice, guidance from the guardian angels. Oops. See what they have to say. For Capricorn Collective, someone rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female. Spirit, please, what are the messages, guidance for Capricorn at this time? I won't be going any uh, over any signs in this reading. Um, so either you resonate or you don't with the messages. Kind of sharp, quick, direct to the point. All right. Capricorn. Okay, we'll take that one. One from the bottom. All right. Let's see what your love has to say for Capricorn. And we have acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So you're either releasing control of a situation or a person or you're releasing them in general. So we'll see how that turns out. We have kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. So you may be accepting you know, accepting what is, you know, what it is is what it is and releasing control and learning to be in a more kind, humble energy. Or you're releasing somebody with, a, you know, accepting it's time to re release somebody, but doing, with, doing it with grace, dignity, and uh, kindness. So we'll see when we get into the tarot what that's about. So let's see what we have here. We have the five of summer. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others, focusing on that which frightens or worries you. So this could be about sad, hurt, loss, um, so we'll see how that plays out. Let's get one more here. So we, oh, we have the Ace of Spring. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. Something new coming in here. Brand new beginning, fi feeling fiery, passionate, new opportunity. So um, some of you may have, you know, in this quarantine time, some of you may have lost your job or something like that, feeling, you know, sadness, 
overall loss, but you have a new opportunity here. It could be a new endeavor, project, idea, uh, starting a new business or something online. Um, and feeling very fiery and excited and passionate about something here. But I feel like there's been some sadness or loss before this either takes place or a new opportunity uh, comes in. And we do have spring. We are in spring. And then we go into summer. So we have spring and summer here. So, and then we have five and ace. If you add that six, that is healing and balance. So there will be healing and balancing coming here. Capricorn year 10, which is about, 10 is about completions and endings. So something definitely could have ended here. So let's see what your guidance is. So we have love. And we have abundance. Love and abundance. Well, look at that. You have a lot of love and abundance coming your way. <laughs> wow. So the white border there is Archangel um, Gabriel. If you're wondering, you know, if you always want to work with angels or maybe in the month of May, these two angels can really help you. But Gabriel here is about clarity, insight, creativity, and wisdom. And the red border is Archangel Uriel, which is about beauty and enlightenment. So a lot of love and abundance coming your way in some way, shape, or form. And I see the rainbow there for luck, expansion. You have, what, the cornucopia there. <laughs> That's the abundance. So a lot of good energy is coming in. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on with this acceptance and kindness and love for you, Capricorn. For this bonus reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. Half my deck just went flying on the floor. All right, let me get that. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, that's too many. Too many. All right. Let's see what we have for Capricorn and love. What is this energy about for acceptance and kindness? Two one. So being at a crossroads about something, needing to make a decision, needing to make plans about something here, but being a little stressed, stressed about it here with the Nine of Swords, worried, maybe not sleeping at night. What else here for Capricorn? The star. So here's massive healing, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. So let's see what else. Five of Wands. So strife, conflict, or competition. Two Wands. So again, we got two twos here. So definitely needing to make a decision and being at a crossroads here. I feel like, and I had felt that energy of... Um, Accepting maybe it's time to release somebody and doing it in an energy of kindness and peace. Or just accepting the situation and letting it go naturally. And um, letting it progress naturally and not being so controlling over a situation. And being in a more uh, kind, humble kind of energy. And the star here is that energy of faith, you know, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, healing divinely guided energy. So we're at a crossroads decision. Um, could be inner conflict, conflict with others, competition, um, but something you're really needing to decide on here. Whether to, oh, I don't know, whether to, let's see, three of pentacles. So here's working on it slowly. So I feel like some of you will release control trying to rush something or um, rush something along too quickly with someone here. I think, you know, some of you are going to accept it's time to just let it go with the flow, see where it goes, being kind, humble um, kind of energy. And being more in a positive energy and not stressing about it so much at night. Because the star here uh, is really good energy, so something's divinely guided here. So just take your time, go with the flow. We've got teamwork, collaboration, working together here. And building slowly. So just build slowly and don't be so stressed um, about this energy here. It's like you're fighting fighting it here, like fighting, fighting to move this along quickly, like <laughs> or move this person along quickly, and it's like just go with the flow. Because she's pouring water, you know, from two jugs, kind of flowing it 
from one to the other. So it's time to just go with the flow. All right, so but we do see wishes and dreams coming true. So I think you will get your wish. Don't rush it. All right, Capricorn, what is this five of summer and the ace of spring? So seven of cups, feeling a little confused. Choices, options, decisions here. Five of swords energy. So that's an energy uh, of, is this a losing battle? Should I get, a, get up and fight? Should I walk away? Um, is this worth my time? Tower. So having an epiphany, aha moment, realization. Could be a shock, surprise, a breakup, breakdown, uh, a massive change. He has a new offer coming in, though. It's stable, it's grounded, it's sincere. Page of Pentacles. So something coming in here, an offer. And this has been coming a lot for all, out a lot for all my readings, the temperance. So it's about patience, being patient in a situation. Healing, peace, harmony, balance. So, and this angel brings in, always brings in what's meant for you. So, I feel here... You may have, you know, we got two fives here, which can be five, five, major change, challenge. Add it together, 10 is about endings, completions, which I said with Capricorn being 10. So again, that could be why this sadness here. So there could have been some ending or loss here, some way, shape or form. And uh, now there's a new opportunity here coming in. It's stable, it's grounded, it's sincere. Feeling very uh, hopeful and passionate about this. Needing to be patient and being balanced here in this new energy coming in. It's meant for you. It's coming in for you. Big shift and change here with the tower. Moon. So a little fear here about not seeing the path clearly. Um, kind of energy. Failing. Oh, is this an illusion? This can't be real. Um, kind of energy. Again, this is about cycles and rhythms of the moon energy. Um, secrets can be about secrets or secrets come into light. I'm not really getting that. I just feel like there's a fear here of not seeing the path clearly or feeling like disillusioned or this can't be real or I don't know if I could trust this. But I think it's a sincere grounded. You can trust it because the temperance is here telling you to temper your energy, have patience, peace, harmony balance out your energies because this is divinely guided for you this massive shift and change this new opportunity new beginning yeah ten of swords so there's been a big big end in here and i felt that the ten of swords <laughs> and you could be king or queen of pentacles here somebody somebody very stable grounded sincere um making their pentacles making their money being financially set. So that opportunity is here. All right. So you could be a business owner, entrepreneur, being a boss or something like that, or good with finances, smart, practical, wise. All right. So let's see what this love and abundance is. So I do see love coming in. So that's your advice and guidance, what you need to hear right now. And we do have the Wheel of Fortune, and I had, says, had said that divine things are coming in for you. Fate, destiny, divine timing. Things getting better, things going in the right direction. Receiving all this love and abundance coming your way. Just let yourself receive it and go with the flow. Taking the fool's journey here, leap of faith, jumping right in, setting, resetting to zero. I don't know why there's a glare there, but uh, yeah. So taking that leap of faith, Spirit says, take that leap of faith because good fortune, love, and abundance is coming your way. Six of Pentacles, being very balanced. Feeling balanced, getting balanced. That's like the minor of the Justice card. Eight of Swords, so still being a little mentally trapped about something here. That maybe, you know, this can't be real. But there it is, Ace of Pentacles, divinely guided, brand new beginning, stable, sturdy, grounded, um, for the long term, being financially set, set for the long term, being gifted to you, 
from the divine and I did see did I see oh I thought I saw the sun but that's like the minor of the sun so manifest this new beginning and the magician always comes right after the fool so this is manifesting a new beginning for yourself in some way shape or form you have all this love and abundance coming in gifted to you from the universe don't let your fear doubt or mental blockages get in the way of this divinely guided energy that's coming in for you remain balanced and things will be getting balanced for you capricorn wow okay capricorn best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light